Guess what? It is the haunt season. We are in the thick of it, literally in the woods. And I have a very special guest. Why don't you introduce yourself and let us know where we are. I am Melissa Carbone. I'm the creator of the LA Haunted Hayride and we are in the woods of LA. Did you even think there were woods in LA? Right. Right. That's part of the magic of the LA Haunted Hayride. We're in the woods of Griffith Park at the old abandoned zoo. One of the most paranormally active spots in all of the West Coast, by the way. Nice. Good yeah. fact. Good to know. Yeah, yeah. It's such a unique location because how many, you know, parks can utilize the actual natural environment? Yeah. Please tell me about the inception of Haunted Hayride. How did this come about and why here? The LA Haunted Hayride, it came about really organically, actually. Me and um, my wife at the time, um, we had this cute little house in like suburban, you know, LA, Soccer Mom USA neighborhood. And um, and I used to build these giant Halloween displays, like these super elaborate yeah. displays. And every year they were getting bigger and bigger and it just looked like Halloween, like had thrown up on my lawn. And, um, and I was like, I was in, like, I, it became an obsession. So one night I looked out in my yard and saw, I mean, like two or 300 people like canoodling around the display. And I was like, there is something to this, to this Halloween phenomena. So I started doing the research and found that it was a six and a half billion dollar industry. I was bummed every year um, yeah, that yeah. I, Halloween passed and I didn't have something to do that felt small towny in right. the woods. Hey, right, because I'm from New England. Um, so I decided that I was going to stop being bummed that there was nothing here and build one. <laughs> So I did, and um, that was the first year that we created the LA Haunted Hayride. It was out in Calabasas at Gillette Ranch. Um, the very next year after that, we wanted to be more centralized in LA, so we moved it, and then just you know started growing from there. And people loved it. People loved us. And this year's the 10 year, so congratulations! That's Thank amazing. You. I can't believe it's 10 years. It's like boggling my mind every time you, you say that or somebody says that to me. Yeah. I have to like stop for a second. It's crazy. And that's also like. How many people do you know, and then also women starting a business, make this big endeavor and succeed too? It's not like, you know, you did it one year and you're done. It's 10 years. How does that feel? Uh, it feels incredible. You know, I wish I wish there were actually more stories of women doing that, you know, and I think I hopefully hopefully there will be. Um, but that's, you know, part of, of why I love talking about it so much is I think it, it, part of part of the the road to success is just activating. It's just yeah. jumping, taking the risk, diving in, not thinking ourselves into an action. Yeah. You know, whoa. No, I love this. We are in the thick of it, literally in the fog. We have the haunted attractions behind us. It's so fun. I'm yeah. loving it. So cool. obviously, clearly, you love it too. I love it. It's yeah. the it's my most favorite time of the year. The best time of the year. Yeah. And then kind of back to the last question, kind of tying tying into what we were just saying. Yeah. Women in horror is such a big thing, and people kind of underestimate it. Like like, oh yeah, but it's like, no, no, come on, the final girl, and women are huge fans of horror. I know, I mean, where aren't women underestimated, right? <laughs> so, it doesn't surprise me, but yeah, absolutely, you know, and again, I think it's, um, there's a lot of talent out there, there's a lot of magic makers that just need, you know, the, that kind of motivation to, to put, get pushed into their magic making, um, and I, I hope that this story does that for more people, it should. Yeah, your story alone is motivation enough to anybody out there starting a new quest and like a big thing like this, which is, um, I'm still amazed. I'm like, that's so cool. Thank you. What advice would you give to people out there, men and women, who are thinking of like, hey, I want to start something. What advice would you give them? Uh, activate. It's, I mean, I say it all the time. Um, I have a book out called Ready, Fire, Aim, which is all about just this topic. Um, activation is the key. It's the bridge to to your idea and wealth, your idea and success, right? Everybody has an idea. Yeah. Um, just because you have an idea doesn't make you special, right? So I tell people that all the time. Everyone has an idea. What makes you special is like activating that idea, bringing it to life, let it live and breathe yeah. and do something. And just the mere act of activating, you're already in a different echelon of, of people who have a better chance of succeeding. Yeah. Plenty of people out there that are talkers, not doers. Yeah. Um, now, what are the days and hours of the park, the attractions, and any advice to people coming who've never been before? Yeah, that's a great question, actually, and I have a great piece of advice. But the uh, the hours are now through October 31st, select nights, Thursday through Sunday, typically. Um, towards the end of the month, we're doing, we'll be open more. Um, some So there's a couple Wednesdays, sure. Mondays in there. Um, my, I think the big, and we open at 7 o'clock every night. Um, and are open till one on Fridays and Saturdays, 11.30 every other night. So the tip that people should really heed my warning 
is when you come to the hayride, do the hayride last. Oh, okay. Do the hayride last, it will cut down on your line weight exponentially. Okay. The problem is that people rush to the hayride and so there's a massive line there and they move to all the attractions together. So you stay in line all night long. If you go to the House of Shadows or Trick or Treat first and do the hayride last, you'll cut an hour off of your line weight for the night. Oh. Yeah. Good to know, because yeah. we actually were like, yeah, let's do that. But now we have better plans. Yeah, Great. better plans. And anything else you'd like to add? Um, just that, you know, over the past 10 years, we've appreciated everybody who supported us and everybody who's covered us and given us a platform um, to talk about the Hayride. We love our work, and thank you. Great. Well, yeah. thank you so much, and again, congratulations. Thank you so much.